Hello, this is George Senda, the real, official, original, authentic, one and only, the guy from Pittsburgh. And if I keep talking like that, I'll devolve into Walter Cronkite. All right, now, before I go on to what I was starting about, which is a whole video, people out there have said that I have too much stuff. I don't need it. I'm hoarder. There's a reason why you keep stuff. Now, my memory is not what it used to be because I'm 67 years old. I'm starting to look like a fatter version of Richard C. Hoagland. Hello, Richard. <laughs> I just dropped some. But there's a reason I keep stuff. I never know for what Apple device I'm going to need it for. Now, this is the charger for my iPad. This, I can't remember, and there's two of them. There's a little one and a big one. This may be my 4S, but it wouldn't work. This is a solar charger that can plug into this cable, which plugs into the iPod second generation Nano I just got. And I can't erase this until it's fully charged. But it took me 25 minutes to look on the internet because I do not know where my other two shuffles are, and this is the first shuffle I've ever gotten with a screen. Uh, and I don't have a set of earphones that I know of. Somewhere around here may or may not be earphones that work. i got to find them. But when this charges, then I can charge this, because this is a solar-powered charger, but the weird thing is that you have to charge it to get it to solar power. But I've got the iPod with a screen. Now, that's one down and three to go, and now to Bennett Surf. Um, so once I get four of these and get two more Volkswagens, then everybody will have one of these. I will work to get a fourth generation rather than second. And I never know that guy blinks like that. I can actually sort of see what I'm doing now. But... This is plugged into my computer, and there is a, and this guy who sold it to me, it's not a very good thing to do. I wouldn't have done this. I would have charged the damn thing overnight. He left it with no charge. It took me quite some time to figure out how to turn this thing on. You have to push the menu button. And I had, to, had it connected this way, into here, and then in the, and I had to, so... It took a while. Anyway, it's charging. This is my iPod second generation Nano. And please connect iPod to power. It is connected to power. So I don't understand what it's doing. It's connected to the computer. I don't know, Captain. I don't know why this isn't uh, charging. It's very odd. Unless the cable's bad, which is a possibility. Um low battery. Weird. Well, I can do it this way. I can connect this. This is why I don't throw things out. I've got bins and bins and bins. Unfortunately, not of gold or silver, but uh, I wish. <laughs> uh, of cables and connectors for all kinds of devices, including many that I can't remember what the hell I go to. This went in there earlier. What was I doing wrong? Hmm. What am I doing wrong? There we go. There we go. I got it. There. That. I'm digressing and I apologize. But that goes in there. And that. will connect to that. And that may or may not charge the iPad. We're going to iPod. We're going to find out. This may require more research. But this should this should charge this. That should charge this. We'll find out. That's why I'm not sure which one. I tried doing it this way and it didn't see me doing anything. So we will go on from there. All right. Now, where's my bag? Okay. I will take this down when I go down to Cat Feed. 
It is 9.27 at night. I mean, ugh, what a day. Um, my money is being refunded, my $100. And my banker was wrong with his addition and subtraction. And I just took another screenshot by hitting the screen accidentally. And um, tomorrow I go get the webcam. This cost me $30, by the way, if anyone wants to know. So I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I'll try. I can always take a trip down to the Apple Store and ask. Okay, this is my Food Max haul video. Now, I happen to be leaving the Starbucks. One thing that was very annoying, the guy who sold it to me, young kid, to me he's young, but to me almost everybody's young, he didn't show me to use it. I mean, I have to go over and I'm going like, uh, you know, hello. <laughs> I haven't used an iPod in years and never one with a screen and never even seen a nano except in pictures. How do I use this, Captain? Anyway, I went over to the bus and sitting there was an electric wheelchair. And I was sorely tempted, if I could have figured a way to plug it in, to drive it to Martinez. <laughs> But it belonged to Food Max, so I drove it up to Food Max and went inside and I said, Hey, it didn't belong to you, because if it didn't, it was mine. Finder's keeper. And they said, Yeah. I said, Well, somebody took it all the way down to the bus stop, a treat and whatever the cross street is. And they thanked me for bringing it. Those things cost $1,500. Now, the thing is huge, you know, it's got a big basket, but same kind of thing they use in Walmart. But I would have me a free electric wheelchair. <laughs> but I'm more honest than that, so. All right, I'm going on six, fifth, six minutes and 50 seconds with no word on all videos. So I apologize for that, but I just want to show you what I've been doing and sometimes what you've got to do to get things to work when you can't remember how to get them to run or you've never seen things. It's like trying to operate a car. You've never seen a car before. All right, we have Lysol cleaner for the cat box. I changed one cat box this morning. I was soaking all day. And... Uh, Kitties have one clean butt cat box on it, the other one tonight. Those thing of yummies. I have some, by the way, this stuff is getting more, really super expensive for hot chocolate. This is the cheap stuff. The Swiss Miss is uh, going through the roof, like approaching three or four dollars for a box. I'm going, this is, you know, I drink this other than I love hot chocolate, but help, it helps me sleep. And uh, I don't remember what I paid for this, but this is the uh, mini marshmallows. Now, Patty's coming over to help me tomorrow. Okay, we have lean cuisine spaghetti and meat sauce, a loaf of bread, slightly squashed. Um, okay, let's see what else is Gordon Sharp cheddar cheese for when I make the tacos. Three calendars, chicken pot pie. And I used to go a pot, chicken in every pot. Well, what happens when the chicken is in the pot? Pot pie. Okay, we have here. I don't know what this stuff is. Pure Harmony grain free chicken and giblets. Recipe with vegetables, cat food, carefully branded, whole nutrition, real chicken, first ingredient, no corn, wheat, or animal byproduct meal, no artificial preservatives, flavors, or colors. So I bought a couple cans of this, and then I bought some fancy feast that was marked down. This one has a slight dent in it. So there's that. And I went nuts. I was in there. It took me forever to get the hell out of there for one reason. I went in there and I go, where is cat food? <laughs> I kept going up and down the aisle with the other electric wheelchair. I can't find the cat food. Then someone who came in there works. This, this, this one here is, by the way, salmon, ocean fish, crab, and shrimp recipe and gravy. That's for, that's for orangey tonight. So I went in and asked this lady who worked at Sprout. She had me shopping. Excuse me, do you know where the cat food is in here? He said, Val, too. And I look way up on top. And it's got a sign saying, Pet Supplies. Now, 
I talk about cat supplies, but no story I've ever thought it said pet supplies. And I'm saying, I've never had a cat walk up to me. Meow, meow. I am out of pet supplies. Would you please get some more pet supplies so I can eat? Never has that happened in 42 years of having cats. No cat has come up to me. I need pet supplies. I need them now. I've got to have them. <laughs> I'm going, like, what the hell are pet supplies? I never heard anybody call cat food or dog food pet supplies. You put in, you, you requisition supplies in an office because the cat asked for pet supplies? I don't think so. Nowhere on this can did it say pet supplies. So this, this, this made me go crazy once I saw it. I said, this is nuts. How would I know to look for pet supplies? Now I'm ranting. You're right. Because I'm mad. This <laughs> made me I waste a lot. I could have been home an hour and a half earlier. I kept going up and down the aisles. Where's the cat food? Where's the dog food? Where's the cat litter? I couldn't find it in this store because they had it in aisle two. And the other food max I go to, I know exactly where it is. It's about three aisles this way from the freezer. And they have a very small section. This thing had a cat aisle and dog aisle. That was the length of the aisle. I mean, it was huge. All right. We have uh, Food Max's brand of mustards. It's also Lucky Store's brand of mustard. They own Food Max. We have Bean and Beef. Bean and Beef. Or Beef and Bean. Burrito. I've got three of those. We have the Lean Cuisine Comfort Herb Roasted Chicken. Tender White Beef Chicken and Creamy Herb Sauce with Roasted Potatoes and Broccoli. We have, and I'll be trying these at some point, a uh, video trying these. Mr. P's Crispy Crust Pizza Supreme. Sausage, pepperoni, red and green peppers, and onion sausage made with pork and chicken. This is a dollar. And then we have the one most people have seen probably, uh, although I don't know how authentic Italian this is. I've never known how authentic. Celeste, pizza for one, microwaves in two minutes. Disintegrates in three minutes. Uh, new heating instructions. Sausage and pepperoni. Pepperoni with sausage made with pork, chicken added. Pepperoni made with pork, chicken added. Is there a chicken with chicken added? I don't know. Heat frozen, cook and serve. And this takes 78 hours. Um, Move frozen pizza from carton. Place frozen pizza microwave safe plate. Microwave on high. Two minutes or four and a half minutes. Use pot holders to move plate from microwave. Now I'm going to stick my hand, bare hand in there and go, ah! Okay, this is this one. So I'll try that, you know, whenever. I'll do a video of it. And um, I think that's it. Yeah. So I did buy one thing in there, hard as a rock, but I got it for the bank part. Yeah, buy a Tootsie Roll bag <laughs> for 50 cents. So, all right. This is George Send, the guy from Pittsburgh, puzzled by the iPod. It's still saying, no battery power remains, connect iPod to power. So I may have to uh, redo this. And, or, but I'm going to let that sit for a while. After, well, I, I'm going to eat something and go, go cat feed. And then see if this is still saying that when I get back. If it is, I'll have to figure out how to get this damn thing to charge. Wish the guy, the guy had, guy had a brick like this, and he had a cable. Oh, I said, does it come with a brick and the cable? Because these are 20 bucks at Apple Store. And he said, oh, no, just the iPod itself. So I would never sell anybody without the equipment to charge the damn thing. Nor would I sell them something without giving them a little bit of training. It would have taken him five minutes. How do you work this thing? But uh, I'm too old school to not sell, to not sell anything and not know to sell something to somebody and they don't know how to all run it. All right. This is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great night. Stay warm and dry. Stay cool or um, wet. <laughs> but stay warm and dry. And have a great night. And I'm out of here. i got the front door open. I'm freezing in here. Bye-bye. <laughs>